What's up everybody, Tony Beats Guy here, back with Offscript, that's right, we're back in action with the Offscript, and we have Edge's debut on Sunday Night Heat versus Vader, that's the second match for Vader, basically this is Edge's introduction into the WWE, which would later have him become a Hall of Famer, yes that's right, Edge had a Hall of Fame career, would you have expected that, no I didn't, I actually didn't even expect Edge to go on that far, He's one of those guys, just like I was talking about, Road Dog and uh, maybe X Pac. I heard some of you guys say, and Edge's intro is awesome. And guys like that that were there, Steve Blackman, Ken Shamrock, they were there, but they never actually reached like main event status. They were just mid cards, and you know that was fine because that's what they wanted to do. They wanted that to do that in their career, so that was good. And whatever, you know, it worked out for them. They made their money. They probably made a ton of money because it was added to there and everything was crazy. Performed the downward spiral and pin him in 10 seconds. Win in less than 4 minutes. Okay, this is going to be a piece of cake if I can get up. And let's get Vader. But really, Edge, when you think about Edge, you remember, like, him when he was at the Brood and stuff. I never thought he was going to go anywhere. But turns out he did stuff. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. He did stuff. Edge did stuff and he became a Hall of Famer. It's like the, when people say, and one thing led to another. Wait, that, that, that doesn't mean anything. It, do, it doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, Edge debuted on Sunday Night Heat and one thing led to another and he became a Hall of Famer. What? What happened? How? No. Okay. Ever since Edge became the rated R superstar, he totally changed his persona, was with Lita, and that made him a great main eventer, in my opinion. I never really liked the face Edge. I always liked the heel rated R superstar Edge a lot better then the face edge. I remember Edge and Hogan won the tag belts together. The first time Hogan ever won the tag belts and the first time that Edge won it with Hogan. And It's a milestone for Hogan's career and a milestone for Edge's career. But anyway, what do you think of Edge? I want to know. I want to know what you guys actually, your, your opinion on Edge is. Do you think that he should be in the Hall of Fame like he is or do you think it was too soon? Like the Hall of Fame shouldn't have happened already and he should have waited, you know. Or maybe he, do you think he shouldn't even have been in the Hall of Fame? Honestly, I think Edge was awesome. He's a multi-multi-time WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, Money in the Bank, the ultimate opportunist, greatest, one of the greatest, tag team wrestlers of all time, Edge. I think he deserves the Hall of Fame. I think it was fitting that they put him in the Hall of Fame, and I think Edge is just a great wrestler. Um, as I said, I enjoyed his heel stuff a lot better than I did enjoy his face stuff. Um, but when he finally did that whole rated R superstar thing, that's what set him off. That's what put his career right where he needed to be. Oh, here we go. Downward spiral. Wait, wasn't that the downward spiral? I thought that was the downward. What the heck? Okay, whatever. I thought that was what the downward spiral is. Okay. It is the... What? Okay. Whatever. All right, downward spiral. One, two... Three Edge beats Vader in his debut match on Sunday Night Heat. Yes, Sunday Night Heat, Sunday Night Heat, Sunday Night Heat. There we go. We have it. And Edge, your debut in the WWE is pretty dang awesome, Edge. We'll have to say that. Your debut was awesome. Oh, no. Debut wasn't that great, but his whole career was great. And thank you, Edge. Thank you, Edge. What did we unlock? We unlocked Edge and Sunday Night Heat. Tony Pizza Guy. Rag out. I urge you guys to check out these two videos. First, we have Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome Episode 1. It is great. Go check it out on Machinima Prime. And we have my Universe Mode in WWE 13. Check them out.